Welcome to an overview video presentation of Aquadata Studio Query Analyzer. The Query Analyzer is a core window in Aquadata Studio. Once you connect or register servers, connect to your databases, you can easily open a Query Analyzer window under the Server Query Analyzer menu. Also, you see the icon there with the data grid and the magnifying glass. So here I am connected to a number of different environments. I can expand these connections to say an Amazon cloud environment, an Excel spreadsheet, a MySQL database, and a SQL server environment, and easily bring up a query analyzer by right clicking and choosing query analyzer. So let's show some examples of opening up some different query analyzers where I have some different color coding connections that we talked about in the register server. Once you open up a query analyzer, you can type SQL or open up a SQL statement with the file menu open or the yellow folder and easily bring a SQL statement into your query analyzer. So here's an example of a saved SQL statement that I'll bring into the query analyzer and execute with the green run arrow and bring back my result set for executing this SQL statement. I can easily open up multiple query analyzers just by right clicking query analyzer or again under server query analyzer. So let's show some other examples of bringing SQL into the query analyzer. Here I could easily just start typing SQL and I'll see the IntelliSense and color coded pop up windows that you'd expect in a tool like Aquadata Studio's query analyzer. Also the SQL editor functionality in other tools. And here I can easily choose a table in this example and then again execute that SQL statement just by clicking on the green run arrow and bringing back the result set for that SQL statement. If I drill down into the table through the navigation tree, I could easily right click on a table and create SQL that way. So here's an easy way to also write SQL against this products table for example. Here I could choose in the right click menu script object to window as a select statement and that would build a SQL statement in the query analyzer for me. And then I also had the choice to perhaps choose a qualified path. So here for example right click script object to window and there I can choose select where it will have the qualified paths for each column name. And now I can talk a little bit more about the execution arrows within the query analyzer. And so the first four or five icons are listed here under the query main menu and we can talk about those here. So the first icon with the cylinder and the double green run arrows is the parse. So that will just parse through this query analyzer and show what types of statements make up this query analyzer. In this case I have three DML statements. This single green run arrow will execute all the SQL. So if I click on the green run arrow, it will execute all the SQL and I have individual result tabs for multiple statements. Or I could execute just a single statement with the execute current where that would just execute a single statement for me. Right, so you have the flexibility in the query analyzer to execute all or multiple statements or single statements. The execute edit will bring up the table editor for in this case the table being called on in this SQL statement. So here's the table data editor and we'll have more details in another video on the table data editor. And then the execute with explain will show the execution plan, the path the database is taking to execute that statement. And that may be of interest for developers or users interested in improving or tuning SQL. Thank you for watching this introduction video on Aquadata Studio Query Analyzer.